When did you know um, the year was play this year for sure? Um, uh, towards the end of last season, um, that I knew I would, I would bounce back 100. Uh, what happened was, in, the, for, in order for me to catch that clock, I was trying to rush back. And uh, I didn't, I, you know, when you've been playing this game for so long, you only wire it one way, you know, and that's what happened to me. I had to just slow it down and, you know, hill up. Talking to a, a number of the guys last year, they, they stressed, <clears throat> and, and they would, if you asked them about their season, they would say your name. So you were still around the team providing. Hey, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we put in so much work over the summer, man, I just, and that's why, you know, I was trying so hard to get back just to be there for them, you know. Um, when you think about something, and and not like you know, football is a business, but when you look at it about putting in work and putting in work, the guys. When you say the words "all in," I really was all in and trying everything I can to hurry up and come back. You know, um, unfortunately, you know, other things happen, but you know, I'm back this year, and you know, I ain't miss a beat. I know you posted at the time that you would be back, but was there ever a concern that you know maybe it wasn't good? Nah, nah. I'm, I'm. One thing about me, I'm like uh, too determined. You know, I could be a little stubborn at times, but you know, uh, too determined. But I, I will say this. You know, I, I was moving too fast. You know, trying to hurry up and get back. You know, I felt like I just owed that to the, you know my teammates and especially you know the guys in, on the line. So you were moving too fast, maybe. In the spring, when you were like, when, when were you talking about? Like uh, post surgery. Okay. Your post surgery, you know, um, I didn't take the blood thinner correctly because I was just trying to help her get back on the field, trying to speed the process up instead of, you know, following precaution. In layman's terms, can you describe exactly what you went through? Oh, uh, man. Uh, yeah, you know, so basically, you know, um, my, my spleen was enlarged. Um, at any given moment, it could have burst. Uh, we try to come up with different scenarios so I could still play. Um, but then you got to start thinking about, you know, your family. You know, um, I have two beautiful children, you know, um, a beautiful wife. Uh, so, you know, the surgery happened. I had it taken out. But then, I, like I said, I tried to rush back, you know, didn't take the uh, blood thinning correctly and uh, end up catching the clock. So the clock is what kind of prolonged the uh, recovery process. But, uh I'm just glad to be back at 100%. Is this something where you're going to have to monitor it throughout this year? No, 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 no. It was a one and done. It would have been a one and done if, if like I said, if I didn't try to try to hurry rush back, you know what I mean? But, uh, nah, so I'm fully healthy, back back to normal, you know, back to hitting back flips. <laughs> once, once in the blue. How scary was that when that happened? Oh, bro, it was. let me tell y'all. Man, I was almost scared, you know. Um, but the support of, believe it or not, this whole entire building, you know, um, every teammate I ever probably came across, you know, to hit me up every day. It was, it was. I fully felt the love and the support, you know, um, family, friends. But it was scary though, especially we you know um, when I caught that cloud. I was like, damn, like you know what I mean? Like, but, you know, just at the end of the day, you know, um, I just followed precaution from there. You know, and um, I'm, I'm here with y'all today. You know. You I know you said you, where, where, you know, did you feel something? Yeah. Was like, <laughs> yeah. What, what, what yeah. was it? <laughs> yeah. So I tried to chase my fire. He did something, and I was just like, get him, come here. And I was like, oh. It felt like a cramp, you know. And um, I was like, damn, I don't think that's, that was a cramp, you know. Um, so I called up here right away, and... And I told him what it felt like. It was like, what? And then they started asking me other questions, and I was just like, uh, you know, one of those, like, damn, I already knew what it was already from there, so. You, um, I, I know you said that, that you never had any doubts that, that you returned. Yeah. <clears throat> when you talk to the doctors, did the doctors have doubts? Like, did they sit you down and say, like, look, there's a chance that you might not be able to play? Again? Oh, yeah, yeah, they did. They did, you know, I mean, but, you know, that's the doctor's job to, the good news, got the bad news, got the maybe, you know, and um, you gotta let the maybe and the bad news go one ear out the other, and just follow the good news, you know, and um, pray about it, and, uh, and I prayed about it, and I came out on the other light, I mean, other side of the tunnel, looking at the bright light, and um, I had so many people praying for me, uh, and I'm just happy to be back. Did you, um, was there a specific 
hurdle you needed to clear where it like okay now this happened, now we're good like was there something specific that needed to happen oh yeah absolutely um so for so okay I get what you're saying. So the whole last season, I had to be on blood thinner mm-hmm. all the way till all the clocks was gone. Gotcha, okay. Yep. So, you know, that's why I couldn't have contact, you know. Um, so I don't have to take any any blood thinner or any type of medicine. But let me tell you all, like, I don't like putting nothing in my body if it ain't a vitamin. So it was, you know, there was, there was like a, some, you know, just – Really maturing uh, and understanding, you know, just just follow the plan because, like I said, I, I felt like I let the guys down, um, trying to rush back to them and you know, like be a part of be a part of the group because, like I said, the off season was went good for us and we put in so much work and then you know I went down, then Carl went down, and then it was just like damn, like you know all this excitement that we had. Um, that's why I feel so good to be out, back, be back out there with the guys. You know, we got a, a good young group of guys, and you know that I can help mentor and, and understand what the, you know what playing in the scheme is about. Not that you didn't appreciate it, but do you appreciate it more now? Hell, you know? oh my God, hell yes, bro. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. I probably rearranged and did construction in my house like no other, just trying to <laughs> occupy my time. You know what I mean? <laughs> It, it's so bad, and I, I even uh, planted a rose garden at my house, like a rose garden. Like, come on, man! But I, I was just trying to do so much with my time because, you know, especially come the weekend, and it's you know, uh, like when you know you're looking at the game plan because I followed the game plan the whole entire season, and, and it's like, ah, oh, shit. You knew that play was coming. It's like watching it. You know, I would have to watch the games by myself. And that's the part that really messes with you, you know, um, mentally because it's just like, damn, you know you're supposed to be out there. And then know it ain't your fault, you know. But at the end of the day, it's like, damn, I can't wait to be back out there. And, and that kind of motivated me to, you know, persevere and, you know, be, be here in front of you guys today. So who's, uh, who's happier to have you back here? Is it you or is it your wife to finally get you out of, like, get you out of the house? I think the whole house. I think, I think my two-year-old, my five-year-old, and my wife, you know. Because uh, I'm telling you all, I mean, I don't put up. I done painted my house, <laughs> painted inside. It done did so much stuff. I done made more boo-boos. Like, uh, I better call a real contractor for that. Mistakes. <laughs> Dude, you can imagine. But, uh, man, it, may, it, re- it really make you appreciate little things, you know. Like, that, me even seeing you guys and not on Zoom is, is appreciated, you know. And I, I really, t- like, thank you guys for even taking the time out to even, you know, listen to me. Like, Man, I just I missed it all. I did. I really did. I missed it all. And um you can't like I never took it for granted, but you know, just being laid up like that, it was it was that moment was like scary and it really shows you like what the game mean to you, you know, when it when it, it provided, you know, so many different levels. It's just another piece in your chapter that you could just write write down, you know, and you know, come the first preseason game, you know, you're just going to be out there like, damn, you, you, you look, look at you, you know, no matter what they throw at you, you just stand tall, you know, and um, I just hope that could inspire, you know, somebody else down the road, you know, so. Can you think of more? Did you have to, you know, was it was it depressing at all during the season to go through what you're going through, like you're saying, where you're here all week and you're part of the team and yeah. you're not playing in the game? Yeah, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the depressing moment. <laughs> I thought I was coming back. Like, pff, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm, you know, I'm training hard. I'm, oh yeah, week six. I'm, yeah, I'm back. And um, that's when the clock happened. So in my mind, I was already coming back. We you know, and then I caught the clock, and I was like, now that heart was like, damn, what's next? You know, when you really don't know too much about it, and you, you know, start talking to all these specialists and. Other people that have been through something you've been through, and it was, it was crazy. But, you know, I had a great supporting staff, you know. Um, the organization, like I said, probably every teammate I ever came across, everybody reached out. It was it was so encouraging, you know. And um, I owe it to, to, you know, to fans, family, everybody. Looking back, what did you learn about yourself throughout this whole process, besides that you're not a contractor? 
<laughs> man, you crazy. <laughs> That's what I would say. I was like, bro, this, you you know what I mean? You, you, you have to be a different human being to even, you know, because all I cared about was coming back, you know. And then, you know, when you're looking at your kids and it's like, okay, you got to take care of yourself first. You know, for so many years, we've been playing this game since I was five, six years old. You know, um, you love the game so much and what it means to you. But, you know, at a blink of an eye, this could have took me away from my babies. You know, it was the most scariest thing. But at the same time, I knew I had to be here for them and my wife. And it was like, I'm going to get through this. You know, so I learned about myself is, you know, just perseverance. You know, um, this won't be the first hurdle. This won't be the last hurdle. You know, I got to make sure I just stay the course and, you know, keep running my race. Just to clarify something on the, medic, uh, the blood thinner. Right. You said you weren't using it properly. Was that you trying to cut back? So was it, did you do that on your own or? No, so, all right. So they was like, I'll take this for two weeks. You know, instead of saying I was out of it, I thought I was done. Right. So it was just... You know, I guess on my part, miscommunication, you know, um, instead of saying, that hey, I need a refill, I just thought I was done. And, you know, um, let me knock on wood. I had never had a surgery before, a major surgery. So that kind of answered a little bit. I don't want to keep trying to jinx myself, you know what I mean? But, yeah, so. Last one here. I'm Kim, and How you I am doing, on a blood thinner, so I do understand. So, could you could you play football on a blood thinner? No, no, no. Right? So that would have been so, yeah, so that's over exactly. That so out. that's why I started freaking out yeah. because here I am thinking, two weeks blood thinner done, get back to in shape, yeah. and here I am coming week seven or whatever week it was. You know when I right. when I got off the blood thinner all of a sudden and I didn't refill it, I caught the clock. Yeah. So, you're supposed to take it for, I, I want to say, two months. I was supposed to be on it for. So, whew, I tried to move the needle too, much, too fast. So. I hear you. I'm happy for you. Thank you so much. I, listen, I, every day when we step on the field, I just thank God. Like, man, I miss the smell of the grass. I miss the, you know, the drilling in, the uh, camaraderie with the guys. You know, we have a funny young team, too. And it just, just to watch them is, is, is enjoyable. And, and like I said, I I just hope I can inspire or, you know, just show somebody, like, man, like, just because this one little hurdle happened or this happened, and like, you'll be okay, you know. And um, one of the things is, you know, when you don't have nobody that ever just gone through what you've gone through, only thing you can lean on is family and friends, close ones, you know, and... Like and and that that was the most important thing for me because you know football is one thing, but if this is a possibility, like what if this spread, you know? And I try to not to let that self doubt get in, but let's be honest, we all human, you know. You a little bit of it creeps in, you know. Um, like damn, what if this spread to my lungs or my calves, you know? So you just trying to you trying to be at precaution, but. When I look at them babies, I was just like, I can't let them see me timid, you know. You know, if you're the head of the household, I got to be strong at all times because in their eyes, you're a superhero. So you got to, you know, portray that way, you know, and just and just keep, keep God first. And that's what I did. Thank you, everyone.